Hey guys, it's Ashley from The Haircut Box. It's baseball season and I wanted to show you the newest haircut out there for all of our baseball players. At the end of this video, make sure you like and subscribe to find more tips, tricks, and haircuts that are trending right now. Tonight, live, I'm gonna show you how to give a super cool baseball cut and also show you how to change up a boy's style. Like we've had the same style on him for a while now. And so I wanna show you how to change your style. You're obviously going to be a little, need to be a little bit patient because Mama. it obviously takes some time for the hair to grow. And Mom, I'm really tall. You are tall. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks for that. But uh, let me hurry and grab his baseball hat. So this is his baseball hat. He wants his hair to be short. Oh yeah, you don't like your ears sticking out. We got little heads. He wants his hair really short on the sides, but then on the back, okay, show, okay, hold still. On the back right here, see how that hair's coming out? We want the long hair to come down kind of at a V. So we're going to keep this back long, but also keep the sides right here, oh, turn it like that, keep the sides short. So that's our goal. That's the cool baseball. That's what I like always pictured when I have thought about having a little boy playing baseball with a baseball hat. And I finally have a little boy playing baseball. So this is so fun. And jet skis. Also, um, we are not going to touch the top because he wants the top uh -huh. long and I promised him I wouldn't I said, do that. I said I won't do another haircut if you lied to me again. Because <laughs> last time she lied, she, she said she was just gonna do this and this, but she actually made the top like I did, I got the top and I thought I would trick him, but I didn't. Um, okay, so we're just going to start on the sides. Um, normally when you start on the sides, you're going to go straight up like this. We are going to, this is like an advanced thing, we are actually going to tilt the haircut so it looks like this. So just picture in your brain how a haircut, okay, I need you to sit up tall. How a haircut, you would go around with the clippers all the way around like this. We are going to tilt that and put the clippers around like this. Does that make sense? Okay. Let's see if we have any questions. Okay, Patch, you're in charge of reading all of these questions. If you have questions, Patch is your man to... Um, Where do you read them? Like, right here, here's the, here's the questions, okay? Yeah, but... Okay, so if you have any questions, Patch is going to be my reader. Um, I have everything set up. Make sure when you start a haircut, you have everything set up. So we are going to start with a number one. And remember, we are, okay, sit up straight. I know you're loving trying to read. Okay, we are going to start with the number one and go up less than you think because we still need a blend and we don't want much hair taken off. So number one, and we're going to go at a diagonal. Okay, so can you see how I'm just literally doing this diagonal? Coming all the way back. I probably went up maybe an inch. Wait, I wanna see that. Okay, that you, can, you can see it after, does it, does uh, it look cool? It. Okay, it's gonna look really cool, huh? Okay, we'll move this over. I cannot wait for little boy sports. Like this is going to be so fun. We were all loaded up. We actually had our snow clothes packed because it was supposed to be cold today. And we got halfway there and had to turn around because it got canceled. Super bummed. Okay, so when you change a style in a little boy's hair, you do need to be patient because, like this is not going to be grown out how we want it, but what you want to do is set the, um, set the guide for it and then let it grow into it. Also, you'll probably wanna cut it more times than not to just keep trimming everything until the style grows out. Okay, so I've done that and I did my guard up. Now I'm going to put my guard down to put those clippers apart. And I'm just literally going to start blending down. So when you just blend a little bit at a time, see how I'm coming right here? And as soon as I can hear that, oh, let's move this closer so they can see. I want to see. You don't need to see. I need to see. Are all boys the same? They want to look in the mirror. 
As soon as you hear that hair being cut, you just rock it away. You hear that? Okay, now on the other side, stop trying to, <laughs> stop trying to use that as a mirror. <laughs> I know you do, but you get to look at it soon enough. This is not for you, this is for the peeps. Stop! <laughs> Okay, so see how I'm just like barely taking any off. Stop. <laughs> okay, this is what's my one guard. Now I'm going to um, go back, put my two guard in. Then you want to put your your blades close together. So I'm going to put the lever up. Here okay, I'm doing that. So you want to just keep going. Uh, close together, then far apart, and it just will help you with a good fade. Okay, so two, and I'm going to come up this way. If you notice on your haircuts, which you probably have, between the one and the two guard, okay, between the one and the two guard, you will have a little bit of a line, so I always like to go back through after um, I've done my two, two and the three, if that makes sense. Okay, right here. Last summer we did like a legit mullet. I don't think we're gonna do a mullet. We're just going to I let. Want to. No, we're just gonna let the hair grow a little bit longer. So now that the lever's up, now I'm going to put it down and see how that brings my blades farther apart. I have had a few comments on like why aren't there number five and number don't. seven guards? <laughs> don't smile. <laughs> Got that? Dad. Dad. Stop. Um, the reason we don't have those is because of your lever. You should be able to blend. Shh. You should be able to blend um, with your lever so you don't need all the guards. Okay, so I've already done blades close together, blades far oh, apart. Wait, wait, mom, there's so much hair in my neck. Okay. So much hair in the neck. Let's use this little hair. Can we just like okay, take it? Don't be high maintenance. Okay. So. That feel better? Yeah. So much better. If you don't have one of these neck brushes, aren't they awesome, Patch? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're gonna put a number three guard on. Put the blades close together. This is going to be our last clipper guard that we use. This is not for you to learn. Sure. Use that left hand to control their hair or their head. Okay, so bring that up like this. Rocking away from the head. So see, I've got a decent fade already. Hey, Margaret, whatever that is. I do. <laughs> Are they saying hi to you? Oh, look, they love baseball too. Okay, once I face your forehead, you can read all of them. Uh -huh. Okay, so this guard, I'm just going to blend up into the top and move my blade or my guard, oh my gosh, move my lever down. Okay. I'll do the same on this side. This is going to look so freaking cool for baseball. Okay, there you have it. So this is our. Nope. This is our. I want it. I want to see all of the things. I'll ask you a question. Is that your son? Is this my son? Are you my son? I'm not adorable, Aaron. Of you are Bo adorable. <laughs> they said you're adorable. Um, is this my son? Yes. yes. This is my oldest. This is Patch. Wait, Introduce we, yourself. Patch is almost how old? Nine. He's almost nine years Haley old. Haley Bielman. Yes, is that your son? Okay, so turn so they can see Is this. that your son? Okay, so remember how instead of going like this, we tilted that and now we're down here like this. 
Um, now I'm just going to get this ridge oh. wet. And I will not take very much off at all, but I'm going to now take vertical parts. And you can see, let me move you a little bit closer. You can see right here <laughs> is my side is my side guide and this is my top guide. So now I'm just going to connect those two and take that all the way back. See how that see how that kind of comes out like that to a point. You're basically just going to take that point off. Does that make sense? And that way you won't have as much of a ridge. Let me show you that again. So here's my side length, here's my top length. And it's like a V. You're just yes. gonna pull it all the way up like that. I had a are you really wanting to answer the question? What are the questions? Uh, this is the, the, you spelled those wrong too. <laughs> okay. Does your son play baseball? Do you play baseball? Look, you spelled dolls and son wrong. <laughs> Look. Does your son play baseball? Four. We have four kids. Yep, I have four kids. I have got oh, Patch gosh. and then two girls and then a little boy. So we're just barely entering the stage of like bigger kids sports. Okay, so back here, okay, you can read those questions later. Back here, I'm going to just keep following this diagonal and I'm going to blend into the short part. So I'm just taking off that corner right there, putting it all the way back. Hi from New Zealand. Patch, do you even know where New Zealand is? Yeah. You better say hi to someone from hi. New Zealand. That's amazing. So this is our first year playing baseball. Pat is really hoping to pitch. What other position would you die to? Uh, probably fir first. First. Or out. Or I am one of the pitchers. If I went today, uh, he said he, I would be one of the pitchers. Which is pretty awesome. Okay, let me address this. So we had, sorry, we had it kind of shaved up to the side and then this was really long. So you can see how this, there's absolutely no blending going on. I'm going to change the style, like I said, and completely blend this side as well. So let me show you. So back here, okay, hold, hold still, hold still. Back here, this is the side length and that's the top length. And I'm going to take quite a bit more off of this side to blend it in really, really well. He still will push it to the side, but I want it um, blended on either side equally. Okay, turn. Okay, let me show you on the back. So see right there, I'm gonna take that corner off and keep just taking cuts all the way down. This is where you want them to, look, he's so trained. He's always already got his head down. You want them to put their head down and this will help so your fingers aren't such at a weird angle. Okay, so it's a little bit more blended on this side, equally blended on this side. Now, we've already done the clippers. We've already done like our, um, our cut with our scissors. This is where these guys will come in so handy. These are your texturing shears. This is like what turns a good haircut into a great haircut magically. Wait, uh, I'm nine years old. You're not nine, you're almost well, nine. Well, I'm almost nine. Okay, at, what, what was the question? Because they can't see the questions. Wait. They said, how old is he? Uh, I'm almost nine. It'll be nine in a couple then, months. And uh, looking good. Uh, then. Okay, so we're gonna take these texturing shears and I'm going to put in my comb right here and I'm going to put the texturing shears teeth down and just make a few cuts up. This is going to soften all of those little lines. Okay, I'm gonna like let you witness you this. I'm gonna let and... you witness this magic. Okay, hold on. So, put this comb in like this and put those scissors up. Okay, so look at those lines just disappear. So I'm probably, I'm just taking like little cuts, just going like one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, or however many, but I'm just basically going to soften this blending right there on that ridge. 
okay? We live in Wilford, St. Anthony, uh, Rexburg, Idaho. I have no idea where I just said. Okay, here. Put your head up. Hey, it's cool that other people so just play baseball, too. Do you think they'll like this cut? Hey, Patch, what do you say to all the baseball boys out there that are watching this? Be awesome. <laughs> Your turn. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this opposite so you can see. Comb, texturing shears, little snips. Blending that right in. Just like so. Okay, now you can see, this is if you wanna be extra, extra perfect. So you can see there's a tiny bit of a line right there where I had my one. Take your clippers again. Don't drop your trimmers. No. Put the blades not, apart from each other. It's not harder than riding snowmobiles. No. Is baseball harder no. than riding snowmobiles? Yeah, uh, baseball is harder than riding snowmobiles. You think so? What? Uh, looks really husband, but what? Your hair looks really husband husband funny. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take this and we're just going to barely soften that side by going, rocking those clippers away again. As soon as you get to that line, move your clippers away from the head. I also can sometimes take them horizontal like that, just to make sure that line is completely gone. Oh yeah. Thanks. That's looking good. Okay, come on this side. Okay. That's basically all we do. Now, we're just gonna do the outline really quick. Hmm, wait, I need to read this. Wait, it looks like Okay. Okay, right in front of the ear. Turn your trimmers around. See how I'm literally laying, here, will you sit up? We'll move it closer so you can see. Okay, I'm literally laying my trimmer against his ear, pulling this away to kind of make that Save tight. It. Okay, you gotta read them out loud so people know what you're answering. I can't see. Wait, your hair coat looks off. Uh, handsome, her buddy. I can't figure out what she says. Uh, do you use, use your scissors to blend like scissors over comb? Um, I do. I don't use my actual scissors over comb. Um, that is a technique that I think is tricky and it's super advanced, so I don't really teach that, but I do use my texturing shears over my comb because this hair is too short for my fingers to hold on to it. If I was using my texturing shears on the top, I would... Um, no, don't do it. I won't, but I'll show them. I promise you I wouldn't do the top. But I would go like this, comb a little section, and then I would use my texturing shears like that. I promise I won't. <laughs> but since this is too short, I can't grab that, so that's why I use my comb and my texturing shears. But no, I do not use my regular um, scissors oh, very my often God. with my comb. Hold still. Okay, so lay those trimmers right against their head. Okay, what are the other questions, buddy? Uh, oh. Oh, you know what? Do you oh, use your scissors? I actually really- Just another distraction. <laughs> I think she's funny. Okay, I wanna show you. <laughs> Maybe this is not smart to go like. Okay, I wanna show you the angle that I'm going for on the back. So, um, you can see what we did this. We're just basically going to do a V. I oh. okay, put your head down. Um, how, when you do the outline, make sure you have them put their hair down and this head down and it relaxes this neck. Plus, it will help so you don't nick them if you do this. See how the, there's like Ow. that extra skin right there? This will tighten it up. Then make that V. 
on the back. Some people like a rounded neckline. Some people like a straight ne neckline. Some people like um, a V neckline. For this style, we're obviously going with the V. So just check both sides, make sure they're even. Okay, now I really wanna make it like a nice crisp V. So I'm going to get that wet. Okay, put your head down. And I'm gonna comb it straight down and then cut that really nice and crisp. Then also, we're not like really going for the mullet, so can okay, you put your head down? I'm, I'm going for it. You're going for the mullet, so we're going to kind of blend this down. Um, I talk a lot about angles, well, I so. I just want like the top really. Okay. I talk a lot about angles when we do haircuts. So if you want like a quicker, okay, put your head up because I want to show people this. If you want a quicker blend, you need to do like a deeper angle, which means say if you wanted this to be the shortest, you wanna put your fingers more like this, which means your blend is quicker. Hmm. Hope that makes sense. If you want a longer blend, like the blend will last longer on the hair, I don't really know the terminology to make that easy, but you're going to put your fingers up more and it'll take a longer amount of space to blend that hair in together. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, so we want this to be a quick blend because we still want this part to be long, remember, to stick out of his hat. So let me show you again. I'm going to completely pull my fingers out and just cut the very ends of that. If I wanted it to blend up longer, then I would just take my fingers up more straight. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay. Patch. Put your feet. Patch about. Kick. Put your feet in. You can put the thing over. No to self, lives with children are tricky. Okay, last but not least, I fully believe that after a haircut, you've just put in all of this effort. There's no reason why you should not, you should not style it. I love this hair product. You, these are all on my website, but this is the Woody's hair product. Wait, can I just No, I'm gonna do it. Wait, no, I, here. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. I know. Okay. Ready? Let's do this. Yep. Just show a little. Don't do it all. Okay, show them how to do it. Rub it between. No, no, uh, uh. Okay. I'll do the front, you do the back. Okay, no, I, I do the front. I love the front. Okay, I'll do the back. I don't like the I don't like the back. I don't do the back. Yep, Patch does not like me to do his hair, which is actually really awesome. Patch does his hair. Literally every single day. Okay. What is this? Okay, while well, he's interesting, we use scissor over comb all the time here in New Zealand. I love watching different people. Yes, totally. Every, and you'll notice is every cosmetologist has their own style. I've really tried with the haircut box to um, choose styles that are super simple for the general public to use. Um, so that's what I teach. I think that it's like I use my style and very simple. Look good, Patch, so baseball ready. How cool is it to have a mom that cuts hair? Mm. Is it cool? Yeah. Okay, we'll read these really quick. Uh, I don't. Okay. Just ordered your baller boy box. Any pointers on how to work with a whirl cowlick on front hairline no. with this cut? Yes, okay, so depending if your whirl is like right here, it works perfectly because it automatically pushes it over. Um, obviously cowlicks are kind of annoying, but you, there's nothing you can do about them, so you're just going to have to use them and choose a cut that works. But if you have a whirl, um, this haircut is great for that because you're going to put it up in the front anyway, so just use that cowlick um, to your advantage. Um, looks so good, I'm the worst at blending, but getting better, good job. Okay, you gotta stay up here, you uh, cannot, well, everyone's gonna know if you sneak away. I know. Okay. That's all. Okay, been cutting my two boys' hair and husband's hair for the last year. Just order the box. Yes, I'm so excited. Okay, sit up. Okay, should we try it on with your baseball hat? Okay, but before we do that, let's show them the final. Oh, wait, I need to this way. Okay. Look how much hair. Okay, there we go. So, here it is. Okay, look straight so they can see. So much better, so much cleaner. I don't know what it is, but I promise he's not like going bald right there. This light is weird. Okay.
Okay. Be, that's like where the most hair is. Such a fresh haircut. And if I wasn't filming this, this literally would have taken me five minutes. So make sure you're cutting the sides in between haircuts because it takes way less time. Okay, put your hat on. Okay, that looks cool. Let's show them the back. It's exactly what I pictured when I dreamt about having a son play baseball. My dreams are coming true. Okay, what do you want to say, Patch? Is that fun? Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Say, say thank hey, I, I said something. Okay. I said something. All right. Well, we're lucky that we got we're lucky that we got him as long as we did. Um, hopefully, this was helpful. I love um, seeing that hair out the back of the hat. Um, you could also, if you don't want to do it in a V, you can make it rounded. Um, but I think it's really cool. Plus, it's a way to keep mom happy and son happy if they want longer hair. Keep it short right here, um, and let him grow it out a lot. So, um, thank you for all the hearts. Thank you everybody for coming. Oh, Harley wants to make her appearance. Thank you, seriously, this is our second live and they're fun. Like, I think we should keep doing them. Looks good, Patch. I just picked up my 10 year old from baseball practice in the rain. Yes, my gosh, spring he's baseball in he's baseball. Not, he's so, not 10. Oh, her son. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this helps. Um, if it does, or if you have any questions, make sure you comment on this post and I will try to listen. Um, okay, one more question. Is there a rule of thumb of how high on the back you cut on the neckline for shaping? Yes, you never, ever, ever want to go above the natural hairline. Um, because if you do that, in literally a week, you're going to have a weird grow out. So if anything, you go like a little bit under, but you never want to go above. I've got a really funny meme that I should probably post on my stories. I'm gonna go find that and post that. But stay really next close to the hairline, even around like on the sides, you never wanna cut totally into it. Um, you did notice when I did that V, I cut the sides off, and that's the only time that you would probably ever wanna cut into the neckline. Um, hopefully that helped. Okay. Let me know if you have any more questions, drop them on this um, live. And seriously, thank you so much for being here. Um, I really appreciate people showing up with us and Patch. And he's out of here, he's downstairs playing baseball. You can probably hear. Um, okay, one more, sorry. They just keep coming in, I'm like, oh, maybe I should hurry and answer this. More tips for blending the top to the fade. My boy has thicker wavy hair and it always looks like a hard line to the top. Yes, okay. So remember when I, I wish Patch was not pitching. Remember when I pulled um, the side hair, this, this is the, pretend this is the side hair that I've already cut and this is the top hair. So you pull the top hair and you've got to match the side hair and the top hair. So depending on whatever angle that is, that's how you match, that will help without a hard line. Plus, seriously you guys, if you don't have my texturing shears, these are a game changer. You use that over your um, comb, like I showed you, and just make little snips, and it will totally help a hard line, whether it's long, whether it's short. Um, with that short hair, I mean, I still had that little line, and I just used those texturing shears, and it magically took that away. So make sure that you're using your texturing shears, um, and then using the lever on the clippers. So hopefully that helped. Okay, I'm gonna close this up because we gotta go downstairs and play baseball before bedtime. So thank you so much for watching.